We're about to head to Glacier. Uh, Liza just ran back inside to grab something quick and then we'll be on our way. It's about a 12 hour drive to our hotel and we're about an hour away from the park. And it's about close to four o'clock right now and we're just getting on the road and we should be getting there around four or five in the morning. Depends on how many stops you make. But uh, I think tonight we're probably going to have to sleep in the Jeep. We got her all loaded up. We got some nanners right there even. Oh, yeah. Brought myself a pole. But, yeah, we'll be on the way in here in a couple minutes. And here she comes. saw a bear. A grizzly bear! We're really getting up in the mountains now. It's uh, a little before two. So we, should, we should be getting to whitefish a little before three. Oh, and 13 from whitefish. We're staying at Pine Lodge where they got free kayaks, bikes. I'm trying to record and drive at the same time. It's getting a little dicey just because these roads are pretty windy. They got a little, little uh, just a little couple, couple, uh, couple more trees than North Dakota. We'll give you guys an update when we get to Whitefish and get checked in, and uh, kind of get a, a plan for the day. We made it, Pine Lodge. Here's the place we're staying at, on the back side of this bad boy. Is a hot tub, a pool, and then a little stream where we're gonna rent kayaks, bikes. All right, right there. So we're gonna get checked in, load our stuff, and uh, I'll update you guys from there. So I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of our uh, hotel.
I highly recommend you guys come to Glacier National Park. State the Pine Lodge. It's about 45 minutes from the park. It's a little bit further than most places, but it's worth it. All the kayaks are free. The bikes are free. They have lounge room, a bunch of cool stuff. And it puts you right on this really cool view and right on the water with free kayaks and paddle boards. And look at that water. You can see all the way to the bottom. Wow. There she is. I remember last time we kayaked here, I dropped a pole. I know we there did. There it is. You're oh, kidding. No, That'd be totally so cool. Kidding. Look at this is new. This I like that they have this pole thing up there. That is. Now. now we can get up easier. Little shoot. That's awesome. That water is so clear. Super clear. I know. It's beautiful. Wow. <gasps> this is just crazy. I almost want to take a swim, but I bet. The water is so clear. Craziness. We're gonna kayak tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow morning? We're we gonna yak. Oh, we're gonna yak, all right. <laughs> Some nice gentleman recommended some places to eat. One of them is this place up here. I'll show you guys Tupelo Grill. He said, uh, Tupelo's it is, guys. Tupelo. 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 The lighting's a little low in this place, but we decided to eat at Tupelo. We waited about 10 minutes for them to open. I got the, uh, I don't remember exactly what they called it. <laughs> and then she got the oh, shrimp and grapes. <laughs> that's embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, this is some shrimp, jambalaya, some crab cakes, some uh, Spanish rice. Don't remember exactly what those are. There's like a bunch of fish. It was like. But... <laughs> and then I got this this wheat beer. Here, take a video of my first bite. Wait, wait. Holy moly. It's a good beer. It's the Zydeco combo. Oh my gosh, you're a doll. Yeah. Thank you so much. The Zydeco combo. <laughs> right on. This is our first meal of the trip. It's my first Many bite. more to come. Oh, it's all done. on the side of the road at a Cascade Falls, I believe it's called. And this is our view so far. 
mountains in the back. Nice waterfall that goes to a bridge right there. And then there's a couple hiking trails up here. Liza kind of took off, but I'll find her. There's a, there's a trail, hiking trail that goes this way and then a hiking trail that goes up here. And I'll show you guys, there's a little overlook from up here. There's a spot that I want to get down to. Don't have my hiking boots on, but that's all right. There we go. The water coming off the mountains is extremely clear. On my lonesome. <laughs> the roads up here, we had to walk across that bridge that's right about there. Look at that water though. Me. But I think we're going to probably work our way up to a different trail and kind of go from there. So I'll see you guys on the next hike. and I found another spot to pull off on the side of the road up here. Found some more falls. Some more, uh, another nice little part of the, the runoff here. What does this say? Danger. It could put me at risk. She don't care. Drowning is the number one cause of death in Glacier. Be careful, folks. You can look, but you can't touch. Well, I, I climbed over the... Uh, climbed over the fence. It's not illegal, but they uh, highly recommend you don't do that. But you got to risk it to get the biscuit, am I right? stopped in this campground 
we're gonna go hike Avalanche Trail. You got a pair of hiking boots, don't you? I'm wearing them. I wish I had a pair of hiking boots. Oh, there they are. Nice. Do I look ridiculous? No, you look good. Got the backpack loaded up. Got some binocs. Most hat. Do I look ridiculous? Your hat's better than mine. Magical warrior. It's alright. I don't really like this string in my face, but we'll get her figured out. Okay. We'll see you guys on the trail because I'm about to make sure I have everything in my backpack and Bye. Definitely would not want to be anywhere else right now. Can I get that workout? Yeah. So we're in the right, uh, in the right spot, huh? I like two miles from here. Oh. So that's not bad. That's not heck? bad at all. But Lake McDonald's nine, or six, that must be what I saw. Okay. Cool. But I hear water down there, so I wonder what's down there. But we can check that out and we'll be back. So we just came up on the gorge. I remember, yeah, I don't remember this rail being here. I do remember taking pictures over here though. I know it's probably hard to hear me, but wow. Trails up there and we're down here. She's ragging on me because I'm taking bad photos. Now we're getting close. What up? Yes, please. Oh boy. Best seat in the house, boys.
spot is literally right there. on the shady side of the lake now. Ooh, look at this slop. Mm -hmm. Yummy. You ready for the two mile hike back? <laughs> I'm just I'm just ready to eat. That definitely worked up a Oh for sure. You wanna check that trail out or no? Oh boy. Yeah, the girl gave us a she gave us a little pamphlet this morning to uh I was like, yeah, we're pretty athletic. And she gives us, starts circling like nine mile hikes, four mile hikes. This one's gonna be a four mile hike round trip, but I think two was enough for today. I'm kinda good, honey. Yeah, I'm good. That's, that's about where the journey ends for here. All right, we're gonna get back on the trail and see you guys back at the Jeep. Thinking about going to get some crepes. Maybe a little bit of coffee. Plan something for tomorrow. What's up everybody? We made it back to the Jeep. Oh, that feels good to take that off. Just gonna make this short. We got about 30 to 40 minute drive back and then we're gonna go eat. Apgar Village and right behind me is Lake McDonald. It just rained for about 20-30 minutes and then that's kind of what the after effect looks like. Got a cool little boat dock over there. There was a rainbow right there but she gone you can see the reflection of everything in the water if you look behind me Elijah's on the dock right there this is the first time we're able to see the sun all day so it's really nice no complaints
Cause that man is trouble, yeah. 